Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to download and update missing Realtek HD audio drivers on Windows 10 or Windows 11. By default, as you can see here, we do have the standard uh, high definition audio driver, which is installed by Microsoft when you install Windows. And you can see here the driver is the 6th of the 5th, 2022. So if you do have a Realtek uh, audio on your system and you don't see it here, that's because you haven't got the driver installed. So what you need to do here is we need to check and find out where the driver is available for us. Now, this is pretty common. A lot of people always ask why they don't have any sort of control over their audio. And that's because the audio works straight out of the box when you install Windows 10 or Windows 11. But you will need to get the correct drivers and install them to make it visible for you on your system. So as you can see here, when I'm looking inside Device Manager, the Realtek audio is missing. And also in Control Panel, you don't have any access uh, to the audio from here either. And that's because, again, the audio driver is not installed. But your audio will work perfectly fine without it. It's just the fact that people like to have a bit more control over the audio and to be able to boost and uh, turn up the audio on their system. But without the Realtek uh, audio console, you're not going to be able to do that. So first thing we need to do is go to system information by typing system information in the search of our system. And we can search for the actual motherboard make. And you can see it here. This one is the Tough Gaming X670E+. What you need to do now is make sure that your motherboard supports the Realtek driver. So you need to go in and have a look at the specifications of that board. And you can do that by going to the manufacturer's website and then look for the part where it says audio and it will tell you what audio you have on that motherboard. So if I click on audio here, it does tell me that it has Realtek 7.1 surround sound, which means you should have some sort of uh, consoles you can open up and configure your audio for yourself. So we need to download the drivers So go to support and then on the support page, look for drivers and tools and look for the operating system here. I'm going to be choosing Windows 11 64 bit. There is Windows 10 if it's available and you're on Windows 10, then go to the audio section and download the Realtek driver uh, for your system. And this will be for Windows 10 or Windows 11 64 bit. And you can choose this to download and install it on your system. Now, by default, Microsoft don't download this part of the driver for your system. It will just put some sort of generic driver so it works and you would have audio coming out of your speakers. A lot of people don't go to the manufacturer's website and download all of the drivers. Once it's downloaded, you can extract it and you should see something looking like this. And this is our audio driver. There is a setup.exe file which we need to click on to install our audio. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So I'm going to go all the way up to the top, double click on this here, and this will open up another window to start installing our audio driver for our system. Now you may need to restart your system once the installation process is done. Now it may need to overwrite your old driver, so you may need to restart the system, get back to the desktop, and then do another quick reboot here. So what we're going to do is restart our computer by clicking on restart now. So make sure you save all your work. If you've got any windows open, save your work and then restart your PC. Once that's done, what you can do is now search for the actual Realtek drive. You can see now Realtek audio console, it should be showing up right here when you search for it. Now, depending on what type of audio you have on your system will determine what type of console you're going to have and what features you're going to have. So you should be able to configure your uh, audio right here inside your Realtek audio control. So if we reopen uh, the actual control panel here for our audio, and let's take a look, Realtek audio console is now open, and you'll probably notice there is no equalizer or there is no other features available inside here apart from the Realtek audio control panel here. DTS sound effects is missing, and this is because we haven't installed it. This is the problem with audio. It becomes quite complicated to get the best audio out of your computer when you don't have all the correct drivers installed. These drivers come down in a bundle, but you do need to look for the third party bit, which is the actual DTS part. 
So back inside your driver folder here where we installed our original driver from our website from our motherboard manufacturer, inside here you'll see a area called Win64 and third party. Inside here, you're gonna see a load of DTS files that we can now install. Now these are not your general standard uh, .exe files. These are .inf files, which we have to right click on and we have to click on install this way. Click open and this will go ahead and install all of the rest of the third party drivers that is needed to get the best audio out of your sound card on your motherboard. So I'm gonna go through here and download and install a lot of these by right clicking on these and click install and clicking open. And this will go ahead and install all of these, including our RPC service. So let's go ahead and do that right here. Right click and install. Now click open and she's now installing lovely. There we go. And once we've done all of these, we can then go back to our control panel and have a look to see our DTS has now been added, hopefully. So let's go ahead and quickly right click here and install this final one here. That's now done. That should pop up on the screen anytime soon to say it has been completed. There we go. That's now done. And we can close this off and now go back into our Asus audio console. So let's go ahead and now type in this right here and we can type this in and we should now have this populated inside here Hopefully, if we go to speakers here, now you can see the DTS has now been added to our audio. So if you've ever had bad audio, now you know why, because Microsoft doesn't install all of the extras. And now you've got access to the full music, movies, games, custom audio, and graphic equalizer right here, where we can get all of the best audio settings for our system. And you now see that we have a full-blown audio suite on our computer here and this is exactly what you want to get the best audio out of your windows 10 or windows 11 system and it doesn't matter whether it's gigabyte msi um, asrock asus or any of these manufacturers depending on what type of audio they have on the board you should be able to get much better audio out of all of those motherboards unless it's a real budget board then you probably won't get all these premium features. Now, if we look at device manager now by right clicking on the start button and going device manager, you will now see that we do have inside our audio, we do have now have our Realtek audio driver here. And this is exactly what we wanted to make sure we get in the correct console for our audio. And this way we can now control our audio a lot better. You'll be able to get a graphic equalizer on there and be able to control it and turn the volume up and boost audio for your system, it's that simple. And that is the main reason why Realtek is missing from your system because Microsoft don't install it. Another place to check is on the Windows Update section here. Inside Windows Update, go to Advanced Options here. Inside Advanced Options, look for Optional Updates. Inside here, you will see some extra options available to you. And you can see there is a bunch of Realtek stuff and DTS uh, software components that you can install and this will also add a lot of hidden features for your audio inside here and this will add the DTS part to the control panel and you'll be able to go in here and use that as well if your uh, computer uh, sound card supports it on your board so depending on what version you've got you will have some different options available here inside your Windows updates click on the download and install and you should get those installed on your system. Now, you can also go to the Realtek website and download the drivers from here if you want to. Uh, these are going to be the latest drivers that Realtek have to offer under the PC Audio Codex, High Definition Audio Codex software. You can now download whether you want the 32-bit or the 64-bit for Windows 10. And it says Windows 10 only here, but it is for Windows 11 as well. And there is a version here that says for 32-bit and 64-bit, which is the 499 megabyte version right here. So depending on which version you want to download, if you're on a Windows 10 32-bit, then obviously you can download the 32-bit version there. So there's a different version for each. So download which one you need if you need to install this. Now, of course, once you've installed your driver previously from your manufacturer's website, you don't need to go ahead and download the Realtek driver from Realtek. This is in case you want to get it directly from Realtek itself. 
So what we need to do is accept their terms to download, download the file, and it will ask you to put in this particular capture here. So let's go ahead and do that and submit it, and it will let you download. And there we go, the file is now downloaded. You would go ahead and now go through the installation process of installing your audio driver via the Realtek method, and this will also give you access to your uh, console. Now, like I said before, you don't need to do both of these methods. You can choose which one suits you. If you can't find your motherboard manufacturer's uh, model number, you can always go ahead and download the Realtek driver, assuming that your motherboard does have a Realtek audio on the actual board itself. You should see something looking like this. Now, if you're watching this video at a later date, your version may be different to what's being shown on the screen. And that's because obviously as time goes by, they update their drivers on a regular basis. And again, you will get a different number up on the top there. So just download and install the very latest version from their website. And once you've done that, you can install this onto your computer. It's gonna to need to restart your system and it may need to do two restarts due to the fact that it's removing the old driver and updating the new driver. And this is basically the way it works. Now, if you're still having issues, you may need to clear out all your old drivers and reinstall the audio from scratch. And that's probably the best bet there. If you look inside also your C drive program files and look for Realtek as well, inside here, a lot of people don't look inside here, but if you go down to where it says Realtek here, go in here and go into audio and then look for HDA and you should now see there's a bunch of little files in here. And if you look for the GUI version right here and click on it, you can see this one says RTK NGUI 64. When you click on this, this will also give you a GUI which you can have a look at and play around with. Yours may look different to this, but it does give you some sort of control over your audio by clicking on the GUI inside here. It doesn't put this anywhere else but in this folder, but you can click on it here and you can also check for updates here and other stuff like that by looking in the actual uh, folder for Realtek. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can download, update and install the Realtek drivers that are missing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. This should help you get more control over all the audio on your system. And it just means that when you've installed Windows, Microsoft have installed the driver for audio, but they haven't put the console on there. And this is how you can get it. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.